But we're heading across the pond now. J.P. McCann and Paul O'Reilly join us. If those games sound Irish, they should. From the Irish Open. G'day, gentlemen. Welcome to the RP Show. How you doing, guys? Hey, Rod. Nice to see you. Hey, Rod. We finally <laughs> nice got our to connection. see you. I can't but we finally got it, and it's good, and it's strong, gentlemen. And I'm very interested to know about the Irish Open coming up this spring. And you guys also have a Canadian connection. But the Irish Open, what do people need to know about this poker tournament? Well, this, the Irish Open, Rod, is the second oldest poker tournament in the world. Uh, behind the behind the World Series in Vegas, and the oldest obviously in Europe, so it's uh, it's, it's over 43 years old, and uh, but it's an eight-day poker festival with a difference. It's not like any other poker festival in the world. Um, it's 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 more about a mix of poker and entertainment, and everybody having a great time. <laughs> oh, I can just imagine just the name Irish in it kind of tells me that it probably is a good time but it's not just pros if i'm not mistaken and tell me about that twist is it amateurs as well yeah it's mostly amateurs um the buy-in is an affordable price it's 1150 euros of a million guaranteed so we attract players from recreational players to play home games to pros and stellar players who um come because obviously we get a massive field last year we had just under two and a half thousand players at the event uh, for about two and a half thousand players for the main event, we had over eight thousand players uh, participants during the the week, um, and funnily enough, Canada is our third largest demographic that we have of players after Ireland and England. Okay, folks, I'm sure you just got everybody's attention. You certainly got mine. Thousands of players uh, in the Irish Open. So tell me what kind of a spectacle this is. Tourist event. It's that's kind of mind-boggling to me. Something that you guys are obviously quite proud of. Yeah, it's um, the event. I'm not sure if you've been to poker event. A lot of poker events. I've worked a lot around the world. People come, and it's poker 24/7. That's the, that's all they're there for. They're there for poker. And um, what we've tried to do with the event since we took over the event in 2016 is make it make the off the felt activities as interesting as possible. So every day we've got live music on, we've different competitions like uh, shuffleboard competitions um, and different entertainments and tours. So a lot of people come to Dublin, visit, play the poker, but while they're there, they go off to uh, maybe the Guinness Hub House and stuff like that. So, so we, we create all these off the felt activities for the players and while they're here, they get to see a bit of Dublin, see a bit of Ireland and play poker while they're there as well. Well, now you got me wanting to come, and I'm not even a gambler. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a whole lot of fun. How many countries are represented amongst the players? Off the top of your head. Last year, we had 76 different countries. Uh, we, had, we had people from 76 different countries arrive into Dublin last year. And uh, apart from the main event, Rod, there is, which is 11, it's like 1,700 Canadian dollars. Uh, we have like we have events going from like we have an event this year, for example, 200 to 200 euros and let's say about 250 Canadian dollars with a half a million guarantees. So, somebody's going to buy into an event for 200 dollars, 200 euros, and they're going to win over a hundred thousand euros. Uh, and it's and, it, and it's it's those types of players that we tailor this this week's event for. This is not tailored for lads who are walking in with five and ten thousands and just as JP was saying, playing poker and just playing poker. Like, we have. Now, I know it's just a stereotypical Irish thing, like we have five bars at the Irish Open, we have music every night, DJs every night, karaoke competitions, all sorts of things going on. So there's something for, some, there's something for somebody every day of the week. You don't have to play poker for eight days, you can just enjoy yourself, which is, it's all about enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's a party, it's an event. Now, before I let you go, and thank you for that, Paul, by the way, you have a Canadian connection. You guys are coming to Canada here before long, or did I mishear that? We're here. We're in, we're in Calgary at the moment. We were over in Montreal for a couple of days. Oh. Um, and we have quite a few friends from Canada that come visit the Irish Open every year. So we're, we're actually here with them at the moment. 
we're on a little tour around Canada promoting the event, trying to organize some live satellites. Um, obviously, we have online partners, Poker Stars and Paddy Powerbin are two online partners that run satellites online. So we've satellites available for players in Canada to play on the Poker Stars four nights a week. Um, and we're out here at the moment trying to organize a couple of live satellites in various different casinos in Canada at the moment. If people rather check out our website, for example, and they go to the satellite section, they can see that they can qualify online for the event. You can actually qualify for the Irish Open main event online for as little as one dollar. And you, you, you can what is that website? Into- so our website is www.irishpokeropen.com, and in there you have details on hotels, details on entertainment, details on satellites, details on the history of the event. But that shows you that the, it's the cheap way for people to win a seat is to actually go online. We've, uh, you can actually play in Ontario now. The Ontario players as well can now actually play as well. So basically the whole of Canada can nearly qualify online for a very reasonable amount of money several times a week. Okay, well, irishopenpoker.com. JP and Paul, thank you for this. I'm glad it's warmed up a little bit in Calgary. I've been checking the temperatures there. Enjoy yourselves. Say hi to all our friends in the casinos there, and uh, thanks for the time today. Thanks, Rod. Thank, thank you very much, Rod, for having us on. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, so they're in Calgary. Okay, unreal. Hard to believe to me that their windows weren't fogging up on that vehicle because... I know a little bit about Canadian winters.